three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Hi, what's going on? It's a beautiful day, raining a little bit in South Florida. We made it back to Florida. We're packing up the house, getting ready to move back to Florida, baby. Moving out, baby. Mm. Well, not yet. Took out a couple days. Got the truck loaded up, guys. Getting everything all packed up, ready to go. Ready to move back to Florida. We are done with Washington. Even though today is so nice. The machine and the compact are all tied down. Ready to load the car up now. Ready to load the car. Our first job back in South Florida. Today, I'm gonna be building a tent. Got my staple gun, got my tarp. So nice to be back in Florida, man. Washington's cool, but it's just not for me. Got our lumber ready. Got a 10 by 10 going here. Beautiful. Beautiful, rainy and wet. It should be damn near close to the elevation it should be at. Huh? It should be damn near close to the elevation. You just gotta rig it up, rig it around. See. I'll put the board from line to line. And the red tape, the top of the red tape is where I made the grade just for it. Yeah. So let's go from Yeah. Once we get it all formed up. It's, I think, then I'll run string lines and see how much area yeah. we got to take out. It's there, mine, mine is and I'll kill that root. I'll dump some chemical all over that damn root. I got some special sh that makes it go bye bye. Yes. I think this one is out of here. The damn reaper. Done. You get this end, I'll get this end. And put the corner on the corner. Pull tight. And then just literally fold this board over one time. Yeah. Nice and tight. And fold it over one more time. Yep, like that. We'll roll it up a little bit. Um we'll get it all the way on the corner like this, like last time. Yeah. Pull your end tight. And then, actually, hold on. Just attack that? Just attack, yeah. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh. All right, grab this end and twist. Pull tight. Yep. And then twist. One, two, 
Hold on, hold on. Alright, just two. Take one right here. Alright, I'm gonna do one twist. That's so true, what you're saying about porn and elements? I mean, shit. It's like getting sick. Like, dude, like, yeah, it's getting sick in the rain. How? It's just raining, no big deal. Who cares that it's raining, bro? A little bit of rain ain't none. We build a damn tarp tent, put it over the job. Now, yeah, don't get me mistaken, if you're doing a lot of square footage, pouring a massive driveway, something big, you know, why risk it? Bam, waste all that plastic, there. rolls and rolls of plastic, almost $250 a roll for the shit I get. But if you're doing something like this, containable, a small slab that's containable, and it's raining on you, you better do that damn job or not call yourself a concrete finisher. I'll tell you that. A semi, a semi good grade of park. Yeah, it's raining. It's going to be shitty all day. We are still pouring this bastard. Blue's a good color. All right, we're going to drape this tent up. All right, all this dirt, this pile of roots that's in here, all the roots go. We got to buff try to get a rake or something. All right, let's try out one day. I grab one in and we'll just fucking walk it up real slowly. And I take a few of the walking tape and like, dude, what are you doing with that 20 pound fucking kick Nice and easy. Oh, yeah. 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 Literally put it right to the side of it. When it rains, we pour. There's only a few of us out here left, man. Last of a dying breed. The way I was brought up with this shit. It's not like nowadays, kids, I'll tell you that. When I was coming up in concrete, I get screamed at. Fighting words. Break the fucking down! Now! Fish balled up, looking at me. I fucking the hard way, dog. In your grill. I learned the hard way, bro. That's why I chill now, man. Thinking they hated you when you're done. I killed really myself. Just... I, think I killed myself for so many years, man. Anyway. I'd be scared I was gonna lose my job, bro. You know, like he would put everything on me. You think you think that? Or everything, you, everything was on me. If dude, you know, I was 17, 16 years old. You know what I mean? And he'd have freaking a little bit of weeble wobble in the form or something. Or something, bro, let's say the saw cut was a little weeble wobbly or something. Dog, he would almost punch me in my shit. He, just he the, would scream. He teaches those, uh... And if I didn't know how to do something, yeah. like we'd be squaring up house slabs. I remember when we were squaring up a house slab, he would just get so mad that he'd just bite his teeth and just huff and puff. He'd say, take the... And I'd just be so, like, scared because yeah. I want to do the right thing, so I'm just... Trying to please him, trying to please him. Yeah. It's like nowadays, bro, it ain't like that. But that one day, that one you know, day, if the though, boss treats you like that, bro, you file a grievance and get invited. It's like, you'll be shit working. So pussy. You'll be working, and then all of a sudden you'll realize that you're doing exactly what he taught you. You're like, holy shit. Yeah. I, that's one of the reasons why I left the union up north. You know what I mean? Because they, they kind of dumb you down. Like, it make me feel stupid. I'm just sitting yeah. there listening to other people, like, all right, I had the solution for this an hour ago. You know what I mean? But I'm not the boss, so I'm just going to sit here. Why you dick around and talk about a fucking half a percent for fucking 30 minutes. Yep. We can just cut five feet off of this existing side to give us more, you know, like I would have the situation in my head already, but I would say it. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'd say, hey, how about if we blah, blah, blah. And they just wouldn't even pay attention to me. Wouldn't even pay attention to me. But then guess what? 45 minutes later, an hour later, they'd come up with a solution. Oh, this is how it's got to be done. And I'd be looking like, isn't that what the f I said literally an hour ago? Yep. You know, but. It's a waste of life. Yeah, dude, I just, not able to, not able to use it's a good career. We're supposed to freaking work because we want to, not because we have to. And that's not entitlement. That's not me sounding greedy or lazy. That's just 
life isn't about work. Life's about making money, taking care of your family, and being a good example for our youth, man. That's what life's about. So, that's why we're back in Florida, taking it easy under the tent. But guess what? I'm gonna make more money today than I made all week. A five day work week up there in Washington. So it's one of those things, you know, you gotta pick your cup of tea. <coughs> but we're gonna be turning up the channel. Hardcore, guys. We're back at it. Not just concrete. And not just concrete, we're doing all phase. Are we handyman? No, but is there much that we can't do? Yeah, no. Okay, this way and then the two short ones we go. do some elevation now so what will happen here is uh yeah we'll play with this you can start getting the majority of oh, like the roots and the grass out no vegetation all right all the roots and the grass you can just nicely nicely put right. over on this side because that's the lowest side right. like all this stuff here that's on the fence yeah. okay right. we'll put it like it like we'll like make like a little border like this like a, you know, yeah, like a backfill type thing. 
And what I'm gonna do is get some string lines on here real quick. And then I'm going to start elevating. This is just to ensure that our boards are not, you know, warped or fucked up in any way. Just to make them all nice and straight before we, before we, uh, stake. Like the edger, edge it up and have like a oh, yeah. pattern and then just cut it out like that. We are about to start grading. Got it formed up. This is how she's looking, ladies and gentlemen. We got a nice lean to here. Put a little tent. We're working. Got this nice 10 by 10 formed up. Nice and square, nice and elevated. I got a half a percent pitch. So it's just faintly pitched. There's going to be a pergola, one of those gazebo roof deals Bird that are going on top of here. There's gonna be four corners with post on each corner with a tiki bar a pergola roof on here. The guy's gonna have a little kitchen right there, a little bar right there. This is just gonna be his little outside area. Happy I can help him build it. All right, you got those little, those little pruners on you? Yeah. Just come behind me and grab any little weeds and roots that's sticking out, and we're calling this done. Now we're gonna spray it down and compact it. So I got. Yeah, just get her down a nice little. Nice little pop, 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 p
All right, we are all formed up, prepped, compacted, ready to pour concrete. I was gonna wait until tomorrow, but actually I think I'm gonna go to Home Depot and get the bags right now. We are at the Home Depot. I got the mixer and I got the bags coming. They're gonna put them on the trailer. There they are right there after they get done wrapping, wrapping them up in some plastic for me real nice. Don't want them to get rained on. Just a tad. Beautiful. Perfect, man. Thank you, sir. I threw my wheelbarrow out on the move up to Washington, so now I gotta buy a new wheelbarrow. Which blows. Bye-bye to you. A little over a hundred dollars. We're gonna go back to this job and just gun ho bang it out. It's 58 bags, so I think we can get done in a few hours. <laughs> Looks like a good one. $139. But it's plastic. A plastic wheelbarrow. How long is how long is that gonna last me, man? Here's one for 178, but there ain't no difference in that and that. There's a metal one there, steel, but it's only got one wheel. I want a double wheel. Double wheel! What's going on, boss? Loaded up! Wow, we are loaded up, ready to go. I'm so excited. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's getting done, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Pouring some mud down first, and then I'm throwing a piece of wire in there. I got the other set of wire going in when it's time. Right there. Oh, man. Tent's working out pretty good. It blew over a couple times, but... I fixed it. Oh man, I gotta keep lugging these bags.
Dude, I'm about to pass out. You need a good personality. Really good personality. And it's bigger sometimes, so that's really fun. <sighs> Fucking hey, man! It doesn't look like a lot of work, but it is. Like you know what I mean? Lord, Just a little ten by ten slab in the in the backyard. I mean, like how hard could it be? You know what I mean? <laughs> this is how hard it is, guys. This is how fucking hard it is. Nine to eat. I mean, shit. Yeah, we could order the truck, and then get a pump, and then pay for. You know what I mean? This is only gonna take us three hours, and we're gonna bag do it. Customer didn't need to pay that. Yeah. Save fucking seven hundred and eighty dollars. We give the prices, we drop it back down to our customer. We provide a good service and we give a deal so the customer gets a deal. We both win.
gonna start edging this baby. Huh? I'm gonna start edging it. It's still too wet, but I'm just gonna get it caught. Just for the hell of it. Wanna put a little gear tape in the hopper? Huh? You gotta put a little gear tape in the hopper? Nah. Mix it up right. If anything, bro, I'll just go run to the fucking Home Depot real quick and grab some more. Or I'll try to cheat. Hey, can you come? Can you hit? This, can you hit this with the hose without hitting the concrete? Absolutely. Enough. That's a nice little spray. Uh, just, just angle it, give it a nice spray right there. More, get that dirt off. That's it. Wash your apple for you. <laughs> I never even really do that. I was like, what's the wash on my own? You a red apple kind of guy or green apple kind of guy? Well, I know you got the red there, but that was uh, I like I like Cosmic Crisp, which is red, but I also like green. Yeah, there's there apples in Seattle, huh? I think they were in Montana. Dude. You just go pick them from the trees. Yep, they're just growing right on the fucking trees. Uh, certified Concrete Chronicles. Thank you for watching another episode. And this is where we're at, guys. We got her all laid down, and it's wet as heck. So, I got some time. So, I'm going to get this damn trailer loaded up. Get everything packed up. Get everything ready to go. <sighs> needs to be strapped. Needs to be strapped. Needs to be strapped. Needs to be strapped. We'll clean up the back of the truck. We're ready to get out of here after we broom that bad boy. Let it sit for about... 25 more minutes 30 more minutes he'll be ready to broom good morning everybody it is saturday it's the day after the pour coming back to the house to strip forms um, backfill clean up some splatter marks whatnot but here's the job took the tent down all we had was one patch area a little bit of raindrops that i gotta fix i just patched it up with some cream and rebroomed it when everything cures, it'll all bleach out. You're not going to notice nothing. Homeowners wanted to put their kids' prints in it. Look how cute that is. Super cool. Nice. Did a nice grade, nice backfill. They got themselves a slab. Look at that there. Woo! I got the wife and baby here today. Mommy! Thank you for doing a concrete. Bobby, put this down. That's so cute. Bobby, put this down right now. Hi. You want to give it to Jack? Hi. Okay. Hey. You're covering the camera, you goo.